Hello, I'm Chris Lawton, and as always, a very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, some of you might have known that for the last few months I've been having some problems with my Compton electronic organ at home. Um, for some reason, the motor is running slow, which is a bit like the equivalent of a record player uh, running slow. So what's happening is the notes aren't sounding in tune. I'll give you a quick demonstration. So we've got to... You can't really do much. Sounds like it's had uh, more than one too many, doesn't it? And I thought that was the end. That was the end of the organ. I tried different things. I got different parts. And nothing seemed to work. I was even thinking about having a new organ. The chances of getting another Compton were pretty slim, so I was starting to look around at uh, more modern uh, electronic organs. However, a gentleman from London by the name of Lucian, an electronic wizard, an expert on these kind of organs, is coming up today to hopefully resurrect the organ. So fingers crossed, by this evening I'll have a fully functioning uh, Compton organ again. So what we'll do, we'll progress throughout the day and uh, by this evening I'll be able to knock out a tune or two hopefully. And as if by magic, the organ is now completely stripped, for want of a better word, in anticipation for the arrival of Lucian. My cat decided to uh, make an appearance there. The man with the cutters. Absolutely. Snip, so, snip. ladies and gentlemen, this is Lucian, the organ doctor, the electronics wizard, as you can see. And hopefully, by the end of the day, I will have snipped all the wires, and it will be there will be no more trouble. But there might not be an organ either. See if I just keep on chopping. Right. Well, that's and a power feed and the return to the block down by the motor. That's the feed to the additional light. So we'll rescue it from all this terminal block. Forget your junction down there to say the very least. Try and do a bit of a neater job. There we go, we've an expert in the house so we have no fear. Well, we have a new motor in place. The wiring is absolutely calm. Rather than being chaotic, spaghetti junctions as it was before, things are looking good. We have an organ. Now here we have the amplifier. And Lucian is going to give it a full service and MOT, if you like. So what we're doing here is replacing a capacitor in the amplifier. one of the industry standard valve characteristics meters so it's a bit more than a tester you can actually plot curves with it um, it measures both emission and neutral conductance which are the two main parameters that you want to know to determine the goodness of a valve not merely whether it functions or not so the target to beat here is uh, 65 milliamps anode current and 6.3 milliamps per volt transconductance and the question is whether the valve associated with the burnt out cathode resistor is faulty. We don't know which was the culprit. 
the capacitor was a little bit leaky, the coupling capacitor, but was not impossible. So maybe the valve is shorted, maybe it was old damage, we don't know. But there is a possibility that one of these KT6060s is going to be... What we have here is a generator. In simple terms, it's the equivalent of an organ pipe. These are the pins that connect through the stator to the lead-out wires. And the flux used to solder the outgoing ca cables on wicks through the hole and it causes the coating to blister on the inside. And that's probably what's causing our shotgunning. There's, there's this tiny little bubble of coating. Now the question is, can we clean it off without breaking the connection? So there we are, folks. The organ is finished. To say that Lucien has given it a full service, a full major service, and an MOT would be an understatement. I think in the whole time I've had the organ, this is probably the best ever had it. Of course, I've got to end this video with a song. You heard the organ um, at the start of this video this morning. I'll play it for you now. And I can't think of a better tune than simply, this is for you, Lucian, thank you. Uh, as uh, sung by various artists, including one of my favourites, Petula Clark. So, Lucian, this is for you. A very, very big thank you from me to you. God bless and thank you. Thank you.